Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the big boy. Well, he looks to be growing a garden. So we've got some scapees onto the bubble wrap. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we have done. Now, I'm trying to remember, we put some castings in here or we put some of the, what do we do? Oh, the leaves. The leaves that I found that were mostly composted and in with regular leaves that had not been composted yet. Gave it a fair amount of water last week. So let's see what it's doing. Moisture on those leaves looks pretty good. Looks like they sopped up the water and retained it with all the bubble wrap. Let's see, kind of go through the sticks and stems here. So yeah, that's good. That's retained quite a bit of the moisture. I want to make sure I get down to the bottom and make sure that it didn't all settle out. Um, don't want to end up with a swamp down there. So far, I'm not seeing anything or feeling anything that's too wet. Shove everything over. See what else. I know I fed it somewhere. Oh, cue the furnace. It's still 20 degrees Fahrenheit here where I'm at. So I know I fed them. Where did I feed them? I need to get in the habit of looking at my old videos. Oh, wait, I think we're getting somewhere. Here we go. Got a nice worm ball inside of a piece of bread and an apple and avocado pit. So they all look pretty good. They're happy. Banana. Happy till I mess with them anyway. They're like, leave this alone. All right, we'll put that part back. Let's see if I did I feed along the whole length here. Let's. I think I did. There we go. That's another piece of bread and a banana. As long as the bread stays wet, it is very good food. If it dries out, it'll take longer than the leaves. So lots of lots of food left, so we won't feed them. It's been about five days, but uh, that was a pretty big feeding. But I've been adding worms as I collect them. I don't bring you in with you know for all of my harvests of my containers. Um, that would get redundant and boring. Um, but I do continue to add worms to the system, so I wanted to make sure that it had enough food uh, to sustain it. Let's see what else I've got here. More food. So that looks good. The density of uh, the worm population in here is still not as big as it's going to be as soon as I get the rest of those harvested. But I am going to use those for different projects. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know that I am on TikTok, so if you're in a situation where you would like to have worm information, but you don't have the 15 minutes to watch a video. I have a video on TikTok about breeding worms. One minute. You got time for that, right? My TikTok is one, plant obsessed. And I'll put those little guys back. So if you just have a minute, um, I do quick little videos on there just to kind of uh, keep everything rolling. And trust me, with as much yammering and waffling as I do, trying to get any conversation with me under a minute was literally an act of God. I don't know how many takes I had to take. There we go. Oh, this is a snug. Back from way, way back when uh, Belfast Worm Farm, you know, 
they're still they're not doing videos very often right now but with such little kids ugh, mess. Uh, with such little kids in the house I can see why he doesn't really have time but they came up with this idea of a worm snuggle um, so they could go in there and snuggle and have babies <laughs> this thing still hasn't broken down from like a year ago um, so I don't, I don't know if the worms are snuggling doesn't look like they really are maybe it's not wet enough I'll bury that a little deeper it's not like me to give up on an idea so just kind of flipping through it looks like the end here is a little dry that's bread that dried out like I said it turns kind of like into a brick so down here at the far end I tried to put more bubble wrap on to help with the moisture but it doesn't look like I've actually accomplished that a whole lot so I'm gonna grab up anything that's dry and I'm going to get my spray bottle again this is just a one liter pressure sprayer from the dollar store cost me a couple bucks and I think I've had it I think I've got a couple of them two or three uh, they last for years so I'm kind of continue on making sure that everything stays nice and damp that furnace is going continuously with us staying you know 10 degrees below freezing for weeks on end so I'm gonna make sure that every time I think about it definitely every video I'm gonna make sure to put some water in here and make sure that my little worm buddies do not dry out I'm gonna give this a little extra down here because that bread was really dry all right well just to check up on these guys um, since it's a new bin uh, even though not very exciting I didn't feed just thought I'd let you know a week in that's what they're doing they've got a comfortable amount of food and they are working like champs all right guys if you like the video give me a muddy thumbs up pretty muddy today and if you're not already a member of my warm family click that subscribe button and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it ring the little bell icon all right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.